Hey here, to the fam here. I want to show you today how you can protect yourself and your investments on uh, your crypto investments. And um, this is applicable for MetaMask and not only MetaMask, but for every single wallet that you have. So for example, the first very simple example is that if you have your wallet unlocked, so as you can see right now, my wallet is locked. Now, what happens if I unlock it? Well, I'm able to see all the coins, right? But so this website that I have open right now, Google. So if I have my wallet unlocked, Google will be able to see one, my wallet address. And in my wallet address, they will be able to see every single transaction that I have done. That also applies if I follow, if I open a new tab. So now these two tabs that I have open have access to my wallet because it is unlocked. So rule number one, you need to unlock, you need to lock your wallet if you're not using it. So as you can see, my wallet is locked right now and I can browse the web safely, safely. Okay. Rule number two, you want to make sure you use a different browser for trading and cryptocurrency. Yes. If you use a, the same browser to browse the web and to do your tradings, you're in big trouble. This is what could happen. One, you could forget to lock your wallet. For example, um, Chrome is very known for not locking your wallet every time that you click here on sleep or restart or not restart, but every time that you open Chrome and your session is there, is saved. So your wallet is open again. So Chrome will always keep your wallet open unless you restore the system or shut down the computer. All right, rule number three, and this one aggregates, this one adds up to the first two rules. So the, uh, the second rule was to get a different browser, right? Now, you may be able to see this. So for example, if you have your wallet on one browser and you're just browsing the web, and you see this notification pop up, what you may be tempted to do is just click it because you may be thinking, hey, some of my transaction just failed. But this is a scam because uh, some ways that websites can trigger you a notification just like that, which goes to the your last transaction on Etherscan. So remember what I told you, if you have your wallet open, and they are able to see your wallet address and they're able to see all your transactions. So they could simply just go to Etherscan, scan for your latest transaction, and then just uh, pop up a notification just like this that says that it failed. Now, what happens if you have your wallet in a different browser than the one that you're using to navigate your daily activities? Of course, if a notification like this pops up, in the first place, it's not gonna be popping up because you don't have MetaMask. So uh, they will not be able to see your latest transaction because they can't read your wallet. But let's say that this notification pops up. Well, you now know that this is a fake because you don't have MetaMask or any other wallet in the browser. That's why it's so important, one, to lock your wallet so they don't know your transactions. And two, you have your wallet in a different browser. All right, guys, next up, we have a notification pop-up. So let's say that you're visiting a website and you're seeing a notification just like this. This is clearly a scam. So not only because, you know, the, the, the design is different, but if you were to have your wallet in a different browser, you're not gonna see that. Now, I'm, almost 100% sure, I'm 99% sure that people who receive these kind of notifications is because their wallet is unlocked and the website that they're visiting is because shows this notification because they're able to read their wallet. So just bear that in mind, uh, I strongly recommend that you have a different browser. So just keep in mind that this kind of notification are fake. Uh, you will not be able to see this kind of buy and send in, in MetaMask. Just get familiar with the uh, interface and just don't put your password 
here at random pop-ups. Just clear all that out and don't put your password there. All right, so this here is another classic example of a phishing uh, attempt. So they may show you a, um, a pop-up just like this to enter your MetaMask wallet password. Look how different it looks. So it, it does look different, but not that much. So many people might fall for it. Just make sure that, you know, you, <laughs> you have this in a different browser. So, and even if it, if you have it in a different browser and you, you go to, uh, let's say this website, to this website, which is very common and you see a notification just like this, you know, you have to be aware of that. Don't, don't simply put your password here. So just be mindful. All right, and the last one is all correlated to this. So for example, let's say that you have 20 types open. Many people have even 50 types open. And one of those tabs is just running a script on the background. And let's say that you have, you are on a pancake swap, Uniswap, whatever you are, and you're trying to make a transaction. Now, MetaMask or the other wallets whatsoever, they don't differentiate on which tab you're in. So it just pops up a notification uh, to confirm your transaction. So if you have one of those tabs that is trying to hack your wallet, so what it could do is, uh, is hijack your transaction. For example, let me, let me, let me show you this. Just, uh, I want to make myself clear. So for example, let's say that we're in MetaMask. I'm sorry, not MetaMask. Uh, Pancake swap. So let's say that we're in Pancake swap here. Uh, look at this. As soon as I this uh, I go here, this thing pops up. I'm just going to close it. And what I want to do is, in this case, is just close out this, right? Quit it. And once I quit it, I just go to the first side that I'm going to go is to Pancake swap, and I'm going to be closing out the rest. So of course I'm not going to put the password here because just safety. I know that it is for pancake swap, but I'm paranoid and you should be too. So what you want to do is let's say that you're here in pancake swap and you're making a transaction, right? So you go to trade exchange and you want to make a, a, a transaction here, right? So, and then it says it asks you for confirmation for that transaction. So you may have one of these tabs here on top. Let's say that you have 20 tabs open. One of those tabs could hijack your wallet and then prompt you with a, a, a confirmation message before the pancake swap. And then as you confirm that, then you would be swapping your coins to the malicious wallet. This is why it's so important when you're uh, making some trades close all the other tabs and you only have your wallet in one browser that way you know where you are you know where you're going and your money is not going to some random hacker all right guys that is the basics just the most fundament fundamental part is have your wallet in a different browser different from the one that you use i've heard that uh i actually tested myself i just don't like it but uh it's pretty good uh, Brave browser is uh, very good. It locks your wallet every time you sneeze. So if you want to try it out, it's pretty good. It even has some rewards. So uh, just try it out. Just please use a different browser. Something else. Never ever share your private key or your seed key. Those are private to you. For example, if you give me those, I will be able to access your wallet. I will be able to transfer your coins. I will be able to do anything. Of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to even ask you for that, but it's an example. So never ever give it to anyone. The only thing that you can give to someone is your public key. That is all. If you want more tips and tricks like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be covering a lot more in my next video. So I hope to see you soon.